What's up restaurant owners, it's Brett here and today I wanna to talk to you about the customer cycle at your restaurant. You know, we're gonna talk about how we get someone into your restaurant, how they're gonna spend money, how they're gonna be happy and continue coming back and again and again and again. Because obviously, as a restaurant, you know, we're not just after those one-time customers that come in, get something and never come back. We want people that continue coming back. We're after the lifetime value of these customers. That's how we can predictably scale and grow your restaurant, obviously, right? Now, how do we get new customers? You know, you might spend money on a television ad or a radio or print or maybe online. But the whole idea of marketing today is that you really wanna figure out the unique ID behind a customer. You really wanna figure out the direction you're spending your marketing dollars on is getting you something that you can track. Because ultimately, what we wanna find out is the customer acquisition cost. We need to know the cost of customer acquisition so we can measure it and scale it and then predict our growth. Without those numbers, it's really tough. Now today I'm gonna to show you how to find that number, okay? Now, let's just say, looking at our equation here, we're gonna do marketing cost divided by the number of new customers. Very simple, right? And let's just say for this example, I'm spending $1,000 on marketing, okay? And remember, we wanna do marketing techniques that are allowing us to track a unique ID so we can trace it. So I'm not gonna be talking about television or radio or print because I can't really get a unique ID there, okay? So we're talking about just online marketing thousand dollars and spend okay now out of those thousand dollars we're going to divide by the number of new customers that we're getting okay let's just say we got 200 customers okay so with easy math a thousand divided by 200 equals five dollars okay five dollars per new customer acquisition cpa cool now, again, the most crucial part here, guys, is being able to get a unique ID. So, marketing that allows me to get an ID, track the customers coming in, to buy my new customers by marketing costs, gives me $5 per acquisition. Now, guys, imagine every $5 you spent, you can get a new customer to walk through your door and spend on average, let's say, 20 or 30 bucks, whatever your average ticket is. And imagine that this budget could be scaled. Imagine the more money we spent, the more customers we got. Now, this might sound like a foreign concept to you, but it's very possible. And it's what we actually do all day, all the time for all of our clients all across the country. So guys, if you're interested in learning more about this, if you wanna figure out how you can determine your customer per acquisition cost, well, then hey, shoot us a message, shoot us an email. We're always happy to chat with new restaurants. Hope you got some value, cheers.